Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from the nations to give thanks to your holy name and make it our glory to praise you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, in this Eucharist let us remember Father Michael as he is serving preaching retreats in UK, our retreat center, and also all the retreat centers all over the world, and all the ministries that are entrusted to those retreat centers, and all the people coming to listen to the word of the Lord and receive the blessings of the Lord in all, all the retreat centers we remember and pray. In the gospel passage today, the Lord Jesus seeing a people, a crowd, coming after him, looking for him. Just before feeding the 5,000 from five loaves, we see Jesus seeing those, teaching those people who came in search of him. So much of love for him. So much thirst for the word of God. And Jesus says, they are like sheep without shepherd. My dear sisters and brothers, as we celebrate this Eucharist, we also have that kind of a love and passion for the Lord, for the word of God, for the blessings of the Lord. Let us receive all the blessings that, that we stand in need of today, offering coming to the Lord with that passion, with love for the word of God and for our Lord. So our prayer today is, Lord, increase a flame that love and passion we have for your word. And also in this Eucharist, as Jesus speaks about the shepherds, he sent his disciples and our disciples have come back and reporting to Jesus. We also pray for our shepherds, our parish priests, our bishops, and all the ordained priests of the Holy Catholic Church. We pray, let them all have the heart of Jesus, the Good Shepherd. Let us recall to mind now all our shortcomings and all our sins. And we shall ask our Heavenly Father to forgive us, to make us worthy to celebrate these sacred mysteries. And so with a contrite heart, we pray together. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let 
us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 13, verses 15 to 17, 20 to 21. Brethren, through Jesus, let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God, that is, the fruit of the lips that acknowledges his name. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over your souls, as those who will have to give an account. Let them do this with joy and not with groaning, for that would be of no advantage to you. Now may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in us that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsible Sam, our response will be The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord, Lord is, is my shepherd, shepherd. There, there is, is nothing, nothing I, I shall want. want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me, he revives my soul. A response. The Lord, the Lord is, is my, my shepherd, shepherd. There, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me along the right path for the sake of his name. Though I should walk in the valley of the shadow of death, no evil would I fear, for you are with me. Your crook and your staff will give me comfort. Our response. The Lord, the Lord is, is my shepherd. shepherd. There, there is, is nothing, nothing I, I shall want. want. You have prepared a table for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. A response. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing, nothing I, I shall want. want. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell for length of days unending. A response. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Please kindly rise for the gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise be the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Sheep hear my voice, says the Lord, and I know them, and they follow me. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise be the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise be the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The apostles returned to Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. And he said to them, Come away by yourselves to a lonely place 
and rest a while. For many were coming and going and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away in the boat to a lonely place by themselves. Now many saw them going and knew them and they ran there on foot from all the towns and got there ahead of them. As he landed, he saw a great throng and had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Please be seated. Seated. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, this gospel passage today. Jesus, after sending his disciples to preach and do the miracles, for in his name, the disciples are returning to Jesus. And they reporting to Jesus that whatever they have taught, whatever deeds they have done. So they are so joyful. Even after going for a time, they don't feel like they are tired. But Jesus says, come, we need to rest a while. So they are going to a lonely place. They are going to a lonely place. But still, people, they were like, they wanted, they had that passion for the teachings of Jesus and the works that he was doing for them. Miracles. The word deeds of power. So they were after Jesus all through their life. Every moment. And so they saw where Jesus was going. Before Jesus landed on the shore. They came running by foot. And then Jesus. Even though the intention was to go and have a little rest. He doesn't mind. He starts preaching and end up uh, feeding them from phylos. Here Jesus makes a comment looking at the people. They were like sheep without a shepherd. Dear sisters and brothers, I, when I was working in the Diocese of Broken Bay in Sydney, even for that matter in the Archdiocese of Melbourne, every year, we hear about shortage of priests, shortage of priests. Maybe when you are listening to me at this time, you may be also aware of shortage of priests to uh, administer sacraments, to take care of the sheep of the Lord, to do ministry for them, minister the word of God to them. Shortage of priests, anointed priests we find. Now today, as we celebrate this Eucharist, I mentioned in the, uh, in the beginning, let us pray for our own priests, as well as for more vocation to priesthood and religious life. In uh, the prophecy of Jeremiah, chapter 3, verses 15, we read about the Lord promising the people of Israel, I will give you shepherds after my own heart. I will give you shepherds after my own heart. So today, as we celebrate this Eucharist and pray for our shepherds, we pray, Lord, give them a heart that is after your own heart, a heart that is meek and humble, a heart of flaming with love for others, a heart ready to take sacrifices for his own people. A heart that is pure and innocent. So today as we celebrate, as we pray for our own priests, please remember, keep them in your heart and pray for them. So if there is any priest in your family, please remember them every day in your prayer. Your parish priest, remember them every day in your prayer. Because their prayer is so important. And so your prayer is so important in their life. Because being a priest for last 11 or 12 years, I myself know that it is not very easy. When I started, when I joined the seminary life, I was thinking it could be easy because I have seen priests 
the outer life of priests the mass they celebrate with so much of love and the teachings they do in the schools or in the society and the programs they conduct so i had a love for priesthood i had a love for priests but later when i became priest myself i know a kind of challenges that they 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 encounter in their life the loneliness certain times they feel that in an unanswered prayer times they have in their life when they have to find solutions for the problems of those who come to them when they cry within themselves thinking of their own life and their beloved ones around when they feel that the ministry is not producing any fruit when they feel like they are um, you know kind of not accepted when they are sent to a place where there is a lot of challenges in all those moments it's not it's not very easy as we see from outside as we see from outside and keep up that purity of life innocence that prayer life strengthen spirituality not very easy my dear sisters and brothers so please keep all the priests in your prayers your prayer means a lot for a priest who is chosen from you or your you yourself so priest when he stands here if you if you look at the eucharistic celebration he himself offers for you on the altar with bread and wine so many prayers we can see in this eucharistic celebration so dear sisters and brothers a priest is from your own from you yourselves please remember them in your prayers every day say a prayer for your priest every day so that they are strong keep anointed every moment keep holy and innocent and they are able to administer the lord's word and sacraments for each and every one of us now a second prayer is for more vocation to priesthood maybe something uh, it has to do something with the age that we live we are not to blame anyone there are so many options opinions and and i would when i look at it i would see convenience we look for a life other than priesthood maybe is easy to switch when you become a priest it is not easy to switch from priest to do some other thing because it is a lifetime commitment being a priest doesn't mean that there are no pri- there are priests who doesn't you know he they break in between as well they drop being a priest they leave priesthood but being a priest a lifetime commitment but when somebody uh, a teenager or young man looking from outside there is no option to switch when he doesn't like it or when he doesn't want it once you switch from priesthood it is not easy to come back as well so for convenience sake for the sake of freedom for the sake of enjoyment of life it is not easy to become a priest live a priesthood of christ i remember father michael sharing one of his experiences i didn't have any but uh, when he was um, giving a counseling at the time of a counseling a young boy was taken brought to him for counseling by the mother of the boy and while he was just sitting very um very very indifferent and uninterested not interested in what father michael was talking or the counseling thing it is because of pressure of the mother that boy has come we were talking and um, father michael was in his um, cassock this white big uh, cassock alb he was sitting and talking and this boy heard so many things and after that this boy uh, told you know father michael told me that he told um get out of this frock and have some life get out of this frock and have some life see looking from outside it is not easy to understand a priestly life a life dedicated to christ forever forever it is not easy and outsiders it is very strange even calling a priest father we all know that it's co- he is called a father it's not very easy to understand i remember when um, i went to malaysia for a retreat we went for a little shopping in a chemist 
uh, house uh, came to a chemist and there this elderly lady who brought uh, took me for that shopping i was in an, uh, one aisle and she was in another aisle and she found what i wanted and she was calling me father i found what you wanted and all those people around was looking at this lady and me looking you know one after another saying she's calling me a father i was just maybe in the early 30s and she was her late 50s so she's calling me father and they are looking at it's not even that terms are not very easy to understand so somebody looking from outside considering to become a priest a commitment for life when they look at the challenges the things that they don't understand look at the convenience they opt no so today we pray that we want more priests holy and we want more priests holy innocent and anointed so that we passionately we receive the word of god we are fed with word of god we are fed with body and blood of christ we are bestowed blessings upon us you know we we receive blessings and the blessings being bestowed upon us through the anointed hands of priests dear sisters and brothers as we celebrate this eucharist i request your praise for all the priests all over the world i also join the anointing of all the priests so uh, please keep all the priests in your heart in your prayer let there not be any day let there not be a day that you have been prayed for your parish priest prayed for priests all over the world and also make it a point every day to say a prayer for more occasion into priesthood more occasion into religious life so that we see we are fed the sheep is fed with the word of god and the sheep is fed with the body and blood of christ let us pray god our heavenly father you are giving us priests after your own heart shepherds to guide us to guard us and to lead us lord we pray for more and more anointing upon our priests let them be holy let them be innocent and let them have your wisdom and courage all through their life lord we also pray for more vocation into priesthood let the youngsters let them receive that call and all those who have received your call respond to it all those concerns in their heart about freedom about sacrifices they have to make about conveniences of our life about a feeling that they are bound for their life lord let them give let them receive an answer from you let their hearts be touched by you transform them and give them the grace to respond to your call that you have given them we make our prayer through christ our lord amen, amen. this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands 
for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church o lord we bring to your altar these offerings of our service be pleased to receive them we pray and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through christ our lord amen The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father almighty and eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us a redeemer to live like us in all things but sin. so that you might love in us what you loved in your son by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we have lost in disobedience and so lord with all the angels and saints we to sing you thanks we to give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim You are holy King of kings Lord of lords you are holy Holy you are holy King of kings Lord of lords we worship you indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew for so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord today and profess your resurrection until you come until you come until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope Malcolm Cardinal Ranjit Aur Archbishop our auxiliary bishops and all the clergy 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Vincent de Paul and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Trusting in the love and providence of our Heavenly Father and entrusting all our cares unto the Lord, we pray in the words of Jesus. Our, Our Father, Father, who, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, the power, the power and, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. So let us offer each other a loving sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant, Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us all safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament. I love you about all things and I desire earnestly to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there in my heart. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
forgiven because you were forsaken. I'm accepted, you were condemned. I'm alive and well, spirit is within me because you died and rose again. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to, to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us serve the Lord in love and peace. Thanks be Speech to God. Prayer for priests. O Jesus, eternal priest, keep all your priests within the shelter of your sacred heart, where none may harm them. Keep unstained the anointed hands which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips, purpled with your precious blood. Keep pure and unearthly their hearts, Sealed with the sublime mark of your glorious priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruits. And may the souls to whom they have ministered to be their joy and consolation. And in heaven their beautiful and everlasting crown. O Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us and obtain for us many holy priests. Amen. to St. Michael, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil, may God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.